Hey guys, uh, just wanted to kind of showcase my bike real quick. Um, just got it last month. It's almost March now here in Kansas. So it's a balmy four, 37 degrees. So nice enough to ride a little bit. Um, but I just kind of want to make this quick video, just kind of show kind of what's, what's going on with the bike. Um, I've been kind of getting passed by security on this warehouse that's being built. So I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, I've already recorded a little bit, but so if you guys want to know anything that I've done to the bike in terms of what's on it or have any questions about it, let me know. But I really just wanted to kind of showcase what it looks like. Um, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I had a 2007 Honda Shadow 750 first a couple years back, but I knew if I ever got another one, it'd be a Harley of some sort. And I've, I've always liked the look of the street bobs. Um, but yeah, so just kind of wanted to show it off. It's a nice day. It's a sunny day. Could be warmer, but that's all right. It's Kansas. What can you do? Um, but anyway, the other main reason I wanted to make this quick little video is kind of the exhaust baffle homemade uh, modification I did. So as you guys know, these are the short shots from Vance and Hines, so they're loud. Um, and I leave for work at 6.30 in the morning. Um, no one's complained yet, but I'm, in the back of my head, I was like, I need to quiet these down or get something different. And I know they make the quiet baffles, but I didn't want to fork over the 70 or 80 bucks yet for each one. Um, I was like, you know what, let me see if I can brainstorm some ideas. And I found one guy, not even with the Vance and Hines, not even with the Harley, just a random guy on YouTube, and he made his own out of a sink strainer. I'm like, okay, that's, that's an idea. I was like, that's pretty, you know, it serves its purpose of quiet in and down and, um, all that jazz. So I kind of got my brain churning. Um, cause the one thing about these pipes, I love, love the sound. That's, I love the sound when you're cruising, um, even when I'm taking off. Um, but when you get on it, like they, they're raspy. Um, and they have that kind of the tin sound. So I wanted to get in the popping on D-cell. I was like, you know, I kind of want to get rid of all of that jazz. So I found some of these at Home Depot. They're just like, I think a two and a quarter. Or I think that's what they are. Sink strainers. They're just metal sink strainers. And I pulled the baffles out, put one of those in, and just put the bolt through them again. And there they are. I also got one up front on each baffle. So on two, on each baffle, there's two. There's one back here where the existing baffle mount screw is, and then one up front. I had to actually screw or drill a hole into the baffle up front to make that work. Um, but if you guys want a detailed, like, how to, let me know, and I can do that. But just kind of wanted to give you an audio example too. Um, I could, I didn't do that before, but there's a million videos on the standard. Vance and Hines short shot sound um, of what they are with just the standard baffles, but I just kind of wanted to do an after of this. So let's go around here. Make sure I'm in neutral. Yep. steel wool or anything in between it's just two sink strainers in each baffle i know it sounds crazy but it works it takes it took a lot of the raspiness raspiness out um it took a lot of the popping on d-cell out um it's not as loud it actually really brought the decibels down um even on right off startup i knew it was it was quieter and even idling i can tell it's just it's deeper too um so all in all i'm happy um I'm kind of trying to decide if I want to take one of the baff or one of the strainers out and just run one strainer per baffle. 
Um, but for right now, I think I'm going to leave it into spring before while the weather's still kind of bad. Um, and then maybe just kind of see how I'm liking this setup. And then if not, I'll go to this single stringer. But yeah, guys, I'll do one quick walk around again. Like I said, if you have any questions of what's on the bike or want to see more of the bike or anything, um, I'm not really going to be posting or doing anything like consistently, but you know, if there's enough comments, I'll make another um, video of something you guys want to see. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know.